Yo guys, welcome back, Erok here. We're going to be looking at the attachments for the Mac 10 that was uh, just added in um, Season 1. Feels weird to say that, but Season 1 of Black Ops uh, Cold War and kind of weirdly also relevant to Warzone. But um, yeah, um, also I have something to tell you at the end, so if you want to hear that, do stick around. But let's get in it. Let's start with the optics, as we do. Um, quick Dot LED. Milstock Reflex, the Cobra Red Dot, the Vision Tech 2x, the Microflex LED, the Hawks Moor, the Snap Point, the Diamondback Reflex, the Silix Hollow Scout, the Fast Point Reflex, the Axel Arms 3x, and finally the Suzat Multi Zoom. For muzzles, we have a muzzle brake, flash guard, sound suppressor, infantry compensator the Sockham Eliminator, and the Agency Suppressor. Uh, for barrels, we have the 5.3-inch barrel, the 6.5-inch Cavalry Lancer, the 6.1 uh, Reinforced Heavy Barrel, the 5.3 Ranger Barrel, the 6.5-inch uh, Rifle Barrel, and finally the 5.9 Task Force Barrel. For body we have the steady aim laser, the mounted flashlight, the target designator, the 5 milliwatt laser sight, and finally, the, uh, not finally, uh, the tiger team spotlight, and finally the ember sighting point. Go crazy with listing all these attachments. <laughs> uh, foregrip for underbarrel, um, a red cell foregrip, the patrol grip, the bruiser grip, the field agent grip, the speed grip, and that's it <laughs> for grips. Uh, for magazines, we have the uh, 43 round drum mag, we have the fast mag, the 43 speed mag, that's quite long actually, um, the Stanag 43 round drum mag, um, Vandal speed loader, that's a really cool shade of green actually. Um, battle speed loader and finally the uh, salvo holy moly that's that doesn't that look comical holy moly the 53 round force 53 rounds my goodness uh, i'm not sure how realistic that is but let's take a look how it looks it looks comical on this oh my god <laughs> that looks weird but yeah uh, anyway um for handles we have the speed tape the drop shot wrap the field tape the jungle grip the Serpent Wrap, and finally the Elastic Wrap. And finally for stocks, we have the Tactical Stock, the Wire Stock, the Duster Stock, uh, No Stock Option, SAS Combat Stock, and the Raider Stock. All right, so what I wanted to talk about is um, basically in previous Call of Duties, you were, uh, look, for example, Modern Warfare, um, say they added two new weapons in, you know, whatever, Season 3, 4, I could just go to the custom games, um, uh, set up an offline game lobby in custom games, or private match, whatever it was called, and um, uh, just go to the um, gunsmith and uh, go through all the attachments for that gun. I wouldn't need to, you know, buy the battle pass or unlock it um, before I was able to do that. I could just do that straight away when the game came out, and that saved a lot of time for me, and I know, I know you guys appreciate all the attachments that I did. Um, it just saved a lot of time instead of me grinding for it, which would be so annoying, you know, for me and for you. You guys have to wait a long time. Um, but that saved a lot of time, and that was really cool. But f in this Call of Duty, it appears they have changed it. I I'm hoping it's a bug because it's, you know, quite pissed off. Basically means that I, I either have to grind, which means the videos come out later and, you know, it's it's not cool. I want the videos out as soon as possible, so I had to buy the um, Battle Pass and plus the tier skips. And um, it works out expensive, like, uh, you know, these videos don't make, uh, wouldn't make that money back. Uh, it's not just about the money, it's, um, it's, it's annoying, of course, to me, but... Um, it's just also for the fact that imagine if someone was to buy this game a few years down the line and you um, you weren't you weren't you didn't play it at the time that this uh, the battle pass came out you wouldn't you wouldn't necessarily have those weapons so that could be really annoying I think if you if you look at uh, future and um, down the line for for for, for um, Call of Duty players I don't know how they'll handle that but right now it's looking like they 
just the guns won't be there if you don't unlock them tough you know but yeah that's uh, just really annoying and uh, we'll have to see what we will do i hope it's a bug um i hope it's a bug but yeah annoying nonetheless but anyway thank you so much for uh watching the video and for listening to me i appreciate all you guys from day one you know i've always appreciated you guys support uh i don't do these videos um you know to um to for money or anything like that I, I, I genuinely love i genuinely love when someone you know messages oh thank you so much for going through this even though it's easy to do yourself you know some people might not have the game or uh, might not be on the game or you know just whatever the reasons are but yeah anyway i'm rambling on yeah thanks for watching and hopefully hopefully i see you in uh, the next video